Okay, so here's the new Easy Well 160 from Sigwell. This new machine is a MIG welder with quick set function and it's also a stick welder. What is quick set? Quick set allows you to set your machine up for MIG welding in three easy steps. Some machines have synergic control, which means that you adjust one knob and you get voltage and wire feed to give you amperage in one control. This does that, but goes the next step further and allows you to use plate thickness to set your settings. On the front of the machine, we have a yellow soft button, and that is the process selection button. That changes from MIG gas shielded wires to MIG gasless wires, or to stick welding. And in stick welding, it also has a built-in voltage reduction device, VRD. So I'm going to put it in MIG gasless today, because that's what I've got here. I've got some MIG, MIG wire, that's, which is gasless MIG wire put it in the right selection. So we're gonna go through the steps. So it's three steps. Choose your process, I've done that. Now, we need to choose the wire diameter size. So using the control knob, we just push it in and it scrolls through the four choices. And it'll come the wire. So at the moment it's showing 0.8. I adjust it and now I've got 0.9. I click it in and it goes to the third step, which is plate thickness. So, and you'll see that this machine can go down on 0.9 wire at a 1.6 millimeter plate, two, 2.5, three, four, five, and six. And to check the plate thickness of your welding, you can use a ruler or a vernier caliper to see what plate you've got. So here's a vernier caliper. That particular steel there, which is stainless steel, is three millimeters. So, adjust the machine to three, and now you're ready to weld. The Easy Weld 160 is a versatile little machine. Because it can do gasless MIG, solid MIG with gas, and also stick welding, it's very, very handy to have out in sight. When you are in MIG, you must make sure that the polarity is in the right position for solid wire or gasless wire. The machine has got polarity change leads at the front and they go in a particular way to suit either gasless MIG welding or solid MIG welding. When we're changing polarity in MIG mode for gas MIG, we need that lead there is, is to the MIG gun. That needs to go to the positive terminal, which is here. And then the work return lead needs to go to the negative terminal. You turn them clockwise, just in nice and firmly so they're not loose and they get a very good electrical connection. If you want to change it to gasless wire, we've got to reverse these leads. So we change the process to MIG gasless, and that then means that the work return lead will go to the positive side, and the MIG gun will go to the negative side. Again, nice and firm, good electrical connection. The difference between solid wire and gasless wire is also the feed roll. So this machine comes with two feed rolls. That particular one is a solid wire feed roll for solid wire with gas. And inside the unit, the machine is already fitted with a knurl roller for running gasless wires. And these feed rollers are actually double-sided. So one side in, the ga in this gasless roller is 0.8, and the other side is, is 0.9. And because I'm gonna use 0.9 gasless today, I wanna make sure that the 0.9 is, is lining up on the inside to match the inlet guide and outlet guide to the gun. We're here in the inside of the Easy Weld 160 machine, and we're gonna to talk to you about how we load up the different wires. So this machine will take a 100 millimeter diameter spool, four inch in the old language, normally about one kilo of wire, 
and it also takes the 200 millimeter diameter spool, eight inch in the old language, and that's between a four and a half kilo spool to five kilo, depending on whether it's gasless wire or solid wire. Let's have a look at the, the, the small spool first. To load it up, the machine comes with a number of spacers, springs, washers, and a retaining nut. The big plastic washer is for the 200 millimeter diameter spool. The smaller flange, that suits both small spools, the 100 mil spools, and also the 200 mil spools. So it stays on, on the shaft all the time. Then a steel washer, which goes over the shaft. Then the gas and spool of wire, making sure that the wire is coming off from the bottom of the spool. Then there's a washer, which has actually got some flats inside it. That goes on. Then the spring. Then the retaining nut. That's up nice and tight and that, therefore the wire won't spin back off, okay? When we put it through into the gun. Gonna put the 200 millimeter spool on now. Again, gonna make sure that the wire would come off from the bottom of the spool. That goes on and sits on the rear holder. Then this one goes in here and that holds the center of the spool lining up on the flats. One washer goes on, then the washer with the little cutout on it, the flats, spring, then the retaining nut. There we go. I'm nearly ready to feed it through the gun. When you feed wire through the gun for the first time, make sure it's out nice and straight or at least a really good curve. We take the gas nozzle off and we take the contact tip out of the front of the gun so the wire can come freely through the gun as well. Pull the trigger. As the, as the wire comes up the gun, you'll actually start to feel it as it gets close to the handle and that's when you know it's getting closer to coming through the end. And you take your finger off the trigger, make sure that the contact tip is, which will be marked with a, a size on it, which will be 0.9 or 0.8 or 0.6. And this particular one says 0.9, and that matches the diameter of the wire. 0.9 wire, 0.9 tip. Screw it in by hand, get your mig pliers and just give it a little bit of a nip up. Not overly tight. Then the gas nozzle goes back over the top, slips on, making sure that when you put the nozzle on, be very careful that you don't have the wire sticking out and put your hand over the top of the nozzle because the wire will go straight through your fingers. So make sure your fingers are at the side of the nozzle when you put it back on. Cut the wire off at around about three millimetres off the tip and we're nearly ready to go. You'll notice when we pull the trigger on the MIG gun, it starts slowly and then ramps up to full speed. Have a listen and have a look. Slow, fast, that's called creep feed. And this machine is designed to do that, so it gives you a soft start. Okay, so now we're gonna feed the wire, the gasless wire, in through the inlet guide and through the, the MIG gun. This is a Euro connection MIG gun. It screws on and off the front of the machine, and it's a three meter length gun. Okay, so we're gonna get the wire out. We pull down the tension control, lift up the top roller. We check to make sure that it's got the right size groove roller in here. And we need to get our MIG pliers, pull the wire out. There we go. Cut some off it and then make it straight. So it goes cleanly through the inlet guide and over the top of the roller. It's a little bit tight in here to do this, but with a bit of patience, 
and just softly, softly, you'll get it going in there, no problem. There we go. Now going in the inlet guide, which goes to the gun. And we want to push this through probably a full rotation, which is about 300 millimeters, 30 centimeters length of a school ruler. Okay, put the top pressure roll down, the tensioner up. The Easy Weld 160 is also a stick welding machine for electrodes, stick welding electrodes. To do that, use the soft yellow button to change into stick mode. Then, basically the MIG gun is not working now. So we have to remove the MIG gun lead from the machine. And we have to have the, the ret earth return lead in the negative terminal. And this machine comes with an electrode holder or a twist lock electrode holder and lead. And then that connection point goes into the positive terminal. And now we are ready to use the machine in stick mode. And you just dial up the amperage of the electrode you're using based on the parameters which are on the electro carton box. This machine goes to 140 amps in stick mode. And it has the added safety feature of VRD voltage reduction. When the VRD is on, the light is illuminated green. When we're actually stick welding, the VRD will be off and the light will be red. So we've just done some welding and got a nice little result there on some three mil mild steel. Just something to note, when you do do your welding, that the digital meter will retain the amperage that you're last using for up to 10 seconds after you finish. That's a handy feature and that works both in MIG welding and also in stick welding. The Easy Weld 160 machine is designed for 240 volt, 10 amp household supply. You can actually do a factory reset. It's very easy to do. How you do it is you hold the soft yellow button and the control knob together at the same time for about four seconds. And then the display will go to three horizontal lines. Let's try it. One, two, three, four. There we go, look at that. So that's the factory reset, back to factory settings. Once you start welding, and if you're not quite happy with the result, you actually can adjust this machine as well. So whilst it's got, it's got quick set, it's got plate thickness, it's a synergic machine, you actually can change it manually. How you do that is by using the control knob, go down to volts trim, hold it in for a couple of seconds, and it comes back to zero, zero, which means the factory uh, setting for the voltage, but you can actually trim it either way, positive or negative, and just get the setting that just suits your job. And to get it back to factory is just zero, zero. Okay, so we've been talking about when we set the machine up on the plate thickness, but if you go outside of the six millimetre on the plate thickness control, you can go to 10 millimeter steel with this machine. To do that, open up the side of the case and you have a MIG setup guide, which will tell you what voltage and what wire feed speed to set in manual mode to go to the heavier thicknesses. This also sets up parameters for you if you want to weld aluminium or stainless steel. So it's a very handy little chart on the inside of your machine.